Hello, hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Hello, Jess. Hello, how are you tonight? Uh -huh. Hi. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello, how are you? Very good, and you? I'm great, thanks for asking. Welcome to the class. All I right. need a permission for a be listener. Why? Only, oh, I still drive into my home. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's okay. No worries. Be careful, only okay? Few, only, only for a few minutes. It's okay. No worries. But be careful. Hello, okay. Teacher. Hello, Good hello. Evening. Hello, Henry. How I'm, are you? I'm still on the road. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I can see a lot of people driving right now. <laughs> okay. Um, please, the ones who are driving, eh, I totally understand. All right. So don't worry. Uh, thank you for being in the class. But please drive safely. Okay. No worries. I totally understand. Okay. Now, eh, the rest of you, everyone, how are you? I can see Celia. Hello, Celia. How are you? How do you feel today? Hello, good evening. Good evening. Aha, uh -huh. so it's Friday. How do you feel? Fine. Very Happy good. Because it's Friday. <laughs> <laughs> That's the attitude. Very good. Okay, everyone, I'm happy to see you. So it's Friday, and basically, we are finishing our first week. So imagine everyone. So first unit it's over okay did you work on the platform everyone have you worked on the platform mm. some of you says yes some of you mm -mm. remember that today is friday and today is when i upload your grades okay so in this moment, I can see some of you already finished the unit number one. Some of you haven't finished yet. So everyone, please, you have to finish, okay? Now, we are going to start today's class. I'm going to share the presentation. And please, everyone, if you have questions about the platform or if you have some issues with that, just let me know so I can help you and we can try to fix it okay now today we are going to have a lot of practice and well some people told me that they will be listeners because some of you are sick or different reasons so the rest of you that are not going to be listeners please practice okay we have a lot of practice and we are going to practice about the topics that we have been studying during this week all right, so let's start. I'm going to share the presentation. You see the presentation, everyone? Yes, excellent. Okay, so today is February 3rd, Friday, and the weekend is coming. What are your plans for the weekend, everyone? Do you have any plans for the weekend? Yes, sleep. <laughs> I like that. Sleep. Very good plan. What else? Any other one? Do you have any other plan? Yeah, sleeping. Also sleep too? <laughs> I like that. Okay. What else? Besides sleeping, what else? Um, go to the beach. Okay. Go to the beach. On I love Sunday. It. Oh, very yes. good. Yes, I will go to the beach. Excellent. Okay, that's like a very good plan. Very nice, very nice. How about study English? Are you going to review the topics during the weekend? Hmm. Are you going to work on the platform during the weekend? <laughs> Ni se van a acordar, right? My goodness. <laughs> okay, if you have a little free time, please try to advance on the platform during the weekend, okay? Try. Well, let's start. This is uh, the class objective for today. 
Today, the idea is to review a little bit all the topics that we have been starting during the week and to have a lot of practice, all right? So what I want is that at the end of the class, you have to be able to provide your work-related information. So at the end of the class, I want you to be able to talk about your work experience, your work information using can, that express abilities using would be or could be using also the time expressions that are basically the topics that we have been studying during this week. So if you have a question with a topic, if a topic is not clear yet, so you can tell me, I, I can explain again, okay? So let's start with the spellings names. <laughs> Yesterday we got some issues with the spellings. Um, I was listening that spelling is, wasn't so easy. So we are going to practice that a little bit, but we are going to do it through a listening practice. Okay, so here I got some people, they are going to um, spell their names. So what I want you guys is that you try to listen and write how they spell their names, okay? So please pay a lot of attention, write it in your notebooks. And the idea is you have to be able not only to spell, but also to understand when somebody else is spelling, okay? So I'm going to open up the audio and everybody, please pay attention. I know that the ones that are driving, maybe you won't be able to do the uh, to do this exercise, so it's okay. But please, the rest of you, do it. Okay? Can you see the pictures? Yes. Yes. All right. So I'm going to play the audio twice. Okay. So microphones off, everyone. Microphones off to avoid interferences. Pay attention, all right? If you cannot listen to the audio, please let me know. One. Hi, Jack. Hi, uh... Elise, from math class. Oh, of course. How are you, Denise? Actually, it's Elise. E-L-I-S-E. Oh, Elise, sorry about that. Two. Hey, Sarah, how are you? Oh, hi. I'm sorry, I've forgotten your name. It's Mick. Oh, that's right, Nick. Actually, it's Mick with an M. M-I-C-K. <laughs> Mick, got it. So, Mick, are you going to the gym this weekend? Three. Mike, hello. Oh, hello. Um. Hannah, we met at Ellie's party. Oh, right. How are you doing, Anna? Pretty good. Actually, my name's Hannah, not Anna. H-A-N-N-A-H. -N 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 Four. Excuse me. Don't I know you from somewhere? I think so. You look familiar. Do you go to Eastern University? No, I don't. Wait a minute. Don't we wait at the same bus stop every morning? Oh, that's right. But I'm always too tired to talk. My name's Stacy, by the way. Hi, Stacy. I'm Devin. Nice to meet you, Evan. Oh, actually, it's Devin. D-E-V-O-N. Five. Excuse me. Aren't you Beth Filio's son? Mike, right? Yes, I am. Actually, it's Ike. No M, just I-K-E. Oh, Ike. Sorry about that. I'm Liz Jones. I work with your mother. Oh, of course. Good to see you again, Miss Jones. Six. Hi, Tony. How are you? Oh, I'm fine, thank you. I'm sorry, I should know your name. Tandy. I work in the accounting department. Oh, that's right. How have you been, Mandy? Actually, 
It's Tandy. T-A-N-D-Y. It's an unusual name, I know. All right. Could everybody listen to the audio? Yes. Yes. All right. I have a question. Yes, tell me. Previous to uh, correct the spelling, I, I was near the word uh, actually. I'm sorry, you are breaking up. Can you repeat? Previous to spelling the, the her names, uh, he uh, he used the word uh, actually. Yes. Oh, that is the word that I, you want me to explain. Hello. Hello. Yes. W what is your question? Okay. Uh, what is it in Spanish actually? Oh, what is the meaning of actually? Very good. That is a very good question. And this is a word, everyone, that you can daily use. Actually is a phrase that you can use when you are talking. Um, for example, the translation in, in Spanish, it will be like de hecho, something like that. For example, you are saying, you know what, teacher? Tomorrow is weekends and I'm going to sleep and I'm going to relax and actually I will go to the beach too. So this is a way that you can use actually. It's basically when you connect ideas. One of the most common mistakes okay. is when people Thanks. think that actually is like actualmente but it is not like that. Okay, so be careful with that. Got it? Yes? Very good. Okay, I'm going to play the audio one more time. So everybody pay attention and write the correct names. And later we are going to see if the answers are correct or not. So one more time, pay attention. One. Hi, Jack. Hi. Uh... Elise, from math class. Oh, of course. How are you, Denise? Actually, it's Elise. E-L-I-S-E. -E. Oh, Elise. Sorry about that. Two. Hey, Sarah. How are you? Oh, hi. I'm sorry. I've forgotten your name. It's Mick. Oh, that's right. Nick. Actually, it's Mick with an M. M-I-C-K. <laughs> Mick, got it. So, Mick, are you going to the gym this weekend? Three. Mike, hello. Oh, hello. Um... Hannah, we met at Ellie's party. Oh, right. How are you doing, Anna? Pretty good. Actually, my name's Hannah not Anna, H-A-N-N-A-H. -N -N Four. Excuse me, don't I know you from somewhere? I think so. You look familiar. Do you go to Eastern University? No, I don't. Wait a minute. Don't we wait at the same bus stop every morning? Oh, that's right. But I'm always too tired to talk. My name's Stacy, by the way. Hi, Stacy. I'm Devin. Nice to meet you, Evan. Oh, actually, it's Devin. D E V O N. Five. Excuse me, aren't you Beth Filio's son? Mike, right? Yes, I am. Actually, it's Ike. No M, just I K E. Oh, Ike. Sorry about that. I'm Liz Jones. I work with your mother. Oh, of course. Good to see you again, Miss Jones. Six. 
Hi, Tony. How are you? Oh, I'm fine, thank you. I'm sorry, I should know your name. Tandy. I work in the accounting department. Oh, that's right. How have you been, Mandy? Actually, it's Tandy. T-A-N-D-Y. It's an unusual name, I know. All right. So let's see if you could understand the spelling. So the first one is already answered. That is Elise. So what is the name of the number two? Uh-huh. Anyone? Mick. Me. Mick. <laughs> Mick. Okay. Spell it, please. M. Uh-huh. I-C-K. M-I-C-K. That's totally correct if you wrote like this everyone check it's totally correct very good job very good job okay number three what's her name hannah okay can you spell it for me please h-a-n-n-a-h very good job that's the one if you wrote like this Excellent. Okay, let's move on to the number four. What's his name? Uh-huh, anyone? Mm -hmm. So didn't listen to the number four? Devon. Okay, can you spell it for me, please? D, E, B O one O M perdón. O N like this. Uh huh. Yes, very good. Actually, totally correct. Excellent job. How about the number five? What's his name? Anyone? Mike. Okay, can you spell it for me? Uh huh. I couldn't listen to you. Can you repeat it one more time, please? I That's the one. I K E. Totally good. Very good job. Okay, the last one. What's her name? Tandy. Okay, can you spell it? T. A-N-D-Y. Very good. That's the one. So if you see everyone, spelling is really important, okay? Not all, the, not all the time you will talk to someone with a very Latin name that is very easy. Sometimes you will talk to people that they have like very complicated or very weird names. So it's very important to ask them for spellings, all right? Very good job, excellent. So I hope everybody please practice spellings, not only today, but every single day, all right? Now, before continue, now that most of the people is here, I'm going to check attendance. So please, when you listen to your names, say present, all right? So Abigail Mejia. Abigail Mejia. Okay. Um, Andrea Amalia. Andrea Amalia. Okay. Atilio Ernesto. Present, teacher. Thank you. Blanca Elizabeth. Okay. Um, Brand, no, Brandon is not here. Let's see, Carlos Alberto. Present, Miss. Thank you. Celia Cristina. Present. Thank you. Hector Iván. Henry Alberto. Oh, I'm right. here, teacher. All right, very good. Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jorge Jonathan. Okay. Jose Ezequiel. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Juan Antonio Elias. 
Thank you. Juan Jose Herrera. Present teacher. All right. Karen Rocío. Present. Thank you. Carla Sofía. Present. All right. Carol Elizabeth. Oh, I think that she said that she will be listening, right? Okay. Uh, Kenya Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Lady Xiomara. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Luis Miguel. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Nelson Orlando. Present. All right. Salvador Ernesto. Okay. Um, let's see, let's see. Sandra Abigail. Present. Okay. Stephanie Michelle. Stephanie Michelle. Jancy Kelita. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, let's see. Jose Marvin. And Edwin Enrique. Okay, very good. Okay, everyone, let's continue. Um, important. Sometimes, uh, well, let's see. If you are listeners, uh, if I check attendance, si en un momento si pueden responder cuando paso la asistencia, super good, All right? I, I will thank you a lot. Okay, now everybody, let's continue. What are the topics that we studied during this week? Let's see if you remember. Uh huh. The topics that we studied this week. Oh my gosh! So you don't remember? Time expressions. Thank you. Excellent. Uh huh. What else? Uh huh. Okay. Ken and Kent. Okay. Very good. So. What is the topic that we studied yesterday? Information. Uh -huh. uh, name, birthday, and phone number. Very good, exactly. So that is what we are going to practice a little bit today. So we are talking about filling out a job application form. That is what we studied yesterday. And we will basically talking about how we could complete that information. That include the name, the phone number, eh, the birth date, and other personal information. Basically, when we are filling out a job application, we also talk about education. So one of the questions that we talked uh, yesterday was like, if you had a university diploma. So how can we explain if we got that uh, academic degree? So as I said yesterday at the end of the class, if you finished high school, basically you will say, ah, I have high school degree okay now if you go to the university and you studied five years what you got is a college degree that normally we can say first we say the name okay for example imagine that you study psychology like this so you have two options you can say yes I have a psychology degree. Or you can say, I have a bachelor's in psychology. Those are the two ways that you can explain what is the diploma that you have. Remember that bachelor's in our Spanish is basically una licenciatura, right? So those are the options that you can say psychology degree, or you add the word bachelor, bachelor in psychologist, okay? Both are correct. Now, if you studied at university and then you want to continue studying, so you can get a master 
or you can get a postgraduate, okay? So, and at the end, if you continue studying, you can get a doctoral degree, or the most common way to say is a PhD, okay? Those are basically the titles or the diplomas that you can get. So this is important in order to complete the education information. Now, what are we going to do in this moment? I want you to feel this information, but I want you to interview your classmates. So for example, and in order to do it, I'm going to send you a link. Let me open up the link. Here is the application form. Look, so you will be in Teams and you will say, okay, first I need a date. So you have to complete, remember, first is the month, then is the day, and then the year. So you will ask your classmate the information that is here, and your classmate has to provide the information, okay? So for example, I need the name. What's your name? So your classmate will tell you. In this moment, we are going to use the real information. Ahorita no vamos a crear un fake profile. No, vamos a usar la real information. Okay? Position apply for. How can I get this information? Can you tell me what kind of questions can I ask if I want to know this? What do you think? What kind of question can I ask if I want to get this information? Para uh -huh. qué cuestión aplica? Exactly. Aplicado. Exactly. ¿Cómo pregunto eso in English? ¿Cómo van a hacer para preguntarle a su classmate eight? I want to know the position you apply for. So how can I ask that? Can you ask the question? What your position apply for? Do All you right. apply for? Very good. So you can tell me what is the position you applied for or what is the position you applied for? So you can use the verb to be in that question. Very good. Okay, the address, do you know the question? I want to know the address. What is the questions that I need to ask? What's your address? Yes, that is one option. What is your address? What Where do you live? Very good. Where do you live? So those are the questions that you can ask, okay? Now, um, social security number, this question you can invent, okay? Please, I mean, I'm not going to ask you to give you the real number, okay? So you can invent, no worries. Now, in the last part, in the employment history, solo llenen una, okay? I mean, just one of these ones. So you had to tell me uh, the date or employment, in here, please in this part, you can tell me only the year, okay? But remember, time expressions. So um, tell me about your previous job. Ah, date of employment. Ah, I worked in that place um, since 2011 to 2018, for example. So. You have to use time expressions. What is the name of the company? Ah, Apple. I don't know, right? Ah, what is the address of that job? Ah, it's in San Salvador. Um, what was the job? What was your position? Ah, I was a secretary. And what do you do there? Ah, I sent emails, I answered the phone, and you can explain that, okay? But solo llenen la primera. It's not necessary to give three 
in different jobs. No problem. And at the end, ask them about education. How can I ask this one? What could be the question if I want to know this? Uh huh. Any idea? I need to get this information. How can I ask that? What is the question that I need to ask to get this information? What do you think? Uh huh. Anyone? We can ask, do you have? Do you have a university diploma? That's the one. Do, do you have a university diploma? If the person says yes, okay. Can you give me the name of the degree? If the person says no, okay, don't complete it. You can write just high school. So listen, the idea is that all of you filled out this application form. Okay, for example, um, you will be in Teams. Les voy a mandar este link. Okay, so in this link, you can fill out the information. Okay, when you finish, because I wanted to see the information, when you finish, please take a screenshot and send it in the group because I want to see if you write it correctly, if you complete all the details. Okay, so I'm going to send the link and please everybody remember, I want you to ask the questions in English. Okay, because I want you to complete the form with your classmates information. For example, imagine that Carla is working with Juan Jose. Carla will ask the questions and Juan Jose will answer. Carla will say, okay, what is your name? Ah, Juan Jose Herrera. So Carla will fill the application form. And then when they finish, they switch. Juan ask and Carla answer. Understood the activity? ¿Se entiende qué es lo que van a hacer? Everyone? Yes? Yes. Okay, I send the link on WhatsApp's group, but also I send it here in the chat. You will be in Teams if you are alone, because, I mean, there are some people that they are listeners. So let me know and I can switch you to a different team. Okay? So if you have a question, please let me know. And remember, in this moment, no more Spanish, full English. All right? So let's go to work. Hello, hello, Atilio. Are you there? Hello, hello. Uh, okay, I, I think that Atilio, are are you still listener? Yes. Yes. yes I okay. Am okay, no worries. Uh, Juan, I'm going to send you to another uh, classmate. Okay. 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 Yeah, no worries. Okay. Okay, I'm going to join you to, um, let's see, lady. I think that lady can participate. Okay, let's see. Hello, Karen. Hello. Okay, can you participate or are you listener? No, uh, participate. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Okay, Karen, you can participate uh, with Juan. Go ahead. Okay, thank okay. you. Hello, Karen. Hello. Um, I will ask you about some information. Oh, uh,
teacher, tenemos que irlo llenando ahí. Yes. Y tengo que descargarlo. No, it's not necessary. It's just a link. Just open it up. It's not necessary to download it. What is day? Sorry? What is day? I think the answer is when is your birthday? Because we are talking about date. Okay, that is the date. What is the day? We are talking about today. So you have to give today's date. La fecha okay. de hoy. Mm -hmm. Okay. February 3rd, 2023. What is position applica for? I am applying for technical support. Can I answer? Ajá, hello everyone. Hello, ya llegué. That's great, excellent. Okay, let's fill out the application form. So, who is going to ask? Um, what is the date? <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, Celia, ask. Donnie, answer. Okay, no problem. Uh, let me to. Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Dale, viaje. Hi, good evening. Good evening. What is the position applied for? The CEO of the company. What is your name? Tony Elias. A spell and please. T O N Y E L I A S. What is your address? Um in English, or La Gloria Urbanization, or oh, Urbanización La Gloria. The Glory Urbanization, era el nombre. <laughs> no worries. Remember that proper names doesn't change. So, okay. mm -hmm, doesn't change. Mm, street department, what is department? Ah, okay. Excuse me? Department, state. Ah, in Mexicano City, San Salvador. What is your phone number? Um, Where? I work in a La Boca restaurant. Ah, okay. Yes. 
And what is the address of your last company? Um, well, I only remember that it is located in, um, on the Simeon Cañas Avenue. Only that, I remember. Okay, Simeon Cañas Avenue. Um, how many times do you work there? Uh, two years. Two Only years. two years. And when did you start? Did you work? When? See the period. Oh, it was uh, the, um, twenty eighteen. Uh, twenty twenty. Uh huh. Yeah. Sorry. And what? What? What were your duties in this company? What is duty? Eh, como actividades, eh, ¿qué hacía? Oh, sí. <laughs> um, I work cash delivery. Ah, uh, okay. Or deliver in this case. Yeah, and uh, this and February. February. Second, twenty twenty third. Second, twenty twenty three. Okay. Your name? What is your name? My name is Carla Sofia Argueta Chévez. We oui. Chévez. H. No, C H. E B E Z. 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 Chévez. Okay. What position you apply? Uh, graphic design. Graphic. Design. Oh, other, eh, or software development. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> software develop, development. Nice. And where do you live? I live in San Miguel, Salvador. Okay. What is your phone number? Uh, my phone number is seven eight nine five six one two four. Okay, female. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. What is your birth? My birthday is uh, August twenty seventh. No. Sí, verdad. Twenty seventh. Uh, night. 1991. My birthday is on November, November 18, 1984. Okay. 1984. What is your, your social security number? My social security number is one six seven zero eight. One six 
Seven. Seven. O eight. Eight. Okay. Yes. Um, do you have uh, a driver license? No, I don't have. Uh, era lo que íbamos a preguntar en employment history. Um, I don't where remember. Did, where did you work? Okay. Where did you work? Um, I work for Castellano Gómez Cabrera y Asociados. I work there from 2010 to 2013. And this company is in Colonia Laico. Colonia Laico. Yes, and I was a taxes auditor. Okay. Yeah. Um, how do I have to, to ask the degree obtained? I don't remember. Do you have any any university diploma? Okay. Do you have any university diploma? No. Yes, Irma. Yes. Do you have any university diploma? Yes, I have. Two. One seven. Uh, four. 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 Okay. Okay. What is your garner? It's not garner. What is your sex? My sex is family. Okay. And when is your birthday? My birthday is in November 26. Nineteen eighty eight. Can you give me your social security number? Mm -hmm. Why in other degree? Just the MBA. One MBA in Master Business Administration in the institution, Aben. 2003 to 2004. Is similar institution. This. Aden is um. Isn't is an Argentina company. Um, okay. With, yes. With different different um. Bases at headquarter. The headquarter is in Argentina in Mendoza, but mm. um. In, in all Central America, they have an uh, institution in, in every country, Guatemala, mm -hmm. Honduras, mm -hmm. Nicaragua, El Salvador. And in, the, in, in this year, 2003 and 2004, Telefónica um, um, called to, the, to them to make a master degrees with different um, leaders in, in, in the company. And, I paid the half of the of the course. Uh, mm. I paid the other fifty percent. Yes, nice. <laughs> but it's too much peace. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> too much pisto. Ah. Too much pisto. Too much pesos. <laughs> too much. Too much Spanish. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. All right. How is everything going? Did you finish? Yes, right now <coughs> I will finish. But I don't know that Celia is my partner in, in the same university. 
<laughs> we have the same alma mater. No way, yes. really. Uh, and we and we buy the 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 uh, the alfajores to las gemelitas, and we <laughs> go to the same places and different times. Oh my yes. gosh! <laughs> and, and what is the university? <gasps> Uca. Uca. All right, but it was like the same years. No, different name, different oh. years. Okay, mm -hmm. one year, different year. Years. one oh. year after. All right. Okay. Interesting. Okay, Be everyone. One year before. Excuse me. Ah. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I'm going to check just if another team are already finished, and then we are going to go back to the main room. Okay. Okay. Very no good. Problem. Hello, hello, everyone. Do you finish? Yes, teacher. Excellent. But Abigail is listening and Nelson don't answer. I don't know. All right, it's okay. So if you practice, no problem. So yes, we're teacher. going to go back to the main room, okay? Okay, teacher. Very good. Okay, time's up, everyone. We're going to wait for the rest of the classmates to go back to the main room. Time's up, time's up. All right, all right, all right. Let's see, I'm waiting for the rest of you. Time's up, time's up. Okay, very interesting practice. Okay, I'm going to wait for everyone. Let's see. Okay, go back, let's go back. Okay, everyone, interesting practice. I know that unfortunately today we have like a lot of listeners, so their practice was a little bit complicated in some teams. Now, how did you feel the practice? Do you think that it's easy to fill out the application form? Is it easy or 50-50? Yes, easy and funny. <laughs> All right. Now, Richard, yes? I so, only forgot some questions. That's a very important details. Okay. How do you feel, everyone, about asking questions? Do you feel that it's easy or difficult to create a question? What do you think? Uh huh. Is it easy for you to create a questions, or it's a little bit complicated? Is in in my case, I think mm, it's not complicated because. This information is basic information, but when you uh, is in the interview with the other people and for your, for the job, uh, you can talk about the the more situation in in this moment. Uh, change is more difficult. This this application uh, has uh, uh, questions uh, easy because the phone number, address, names is no more difficult. But the other situation is 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 a little uh, the most um, the most complicated. That's true. Thank you, Jorge. Exactly. So imagine in this application form. Basically, we are asking for basic information, right? So we shouldn't complicate too much. However, I know that there are some little questions that sometimes we forgot. But if we are in another, like in a real interview, you know that 
we can have different topics and there is when it's a little bit more complicated to ask the questions. Now, super good because in the groups that I was uh, listening, right, I heard you were talking in English. That's great. I listened that you are improving saying the dates. That's something really good too. Now, important, let me show you some of the details that I was listening to in some groups. For example, in the application form, uh, there is a part that says, for example, here, position applied for. And this is one of the questions that I listen. What's the position applied for? Is missing something here? What do you think? The pronouns. Very good. So remember, guys, when we are uh, talking, we always need like the subject. We don't have a subject here. So we don't know who's the subject or who I'm asking to. So we can say, what's the position? you applied for, okay? That is a better option. Now, there was another part of the application form when we are talking about employment history and I needed to know where did you work? And there was a question here, how many times do you work there? Is this question correct? What do you think? I need to know the date of employment. I need to know the year, for example, that you worked there. So is that question correct? How many times do you work there? Will be how long time? All right, that's a better question. How well, long then? time? Exactly, instead of how many, mm, we can change it and we can say, how long time and remember we are talking previous job is in present or is in past past correct what is the auxiliary in simple past did correct so how long time did you work there all right or don't complicate too much simply you can just said when did you work there? Simple. So sometimes we used to complicate too much, but when did you work there? Simple like that. Now, um, there is another one. What is your birthday? Is this question correct? What um, is your is, birthday? Is when? Ah, it's not what is when because we are talking about date okay when and what is the pronunciation of this word first day very good birth right sometimes i listen that you say beer day <laughs> but what is beer huh so if we say beer day so we are saying something different Okay, so yeah. it's not beer day, is the beer day is today in the night <laughs> after the yeah. class. Yeah, right. Ah. <laughs> okay, all right. So be careful with the pronunciation. All right. Now, a recommendation after this practice, the general conclusion for everyone, we need to practice creating questions. Okay, so if you don't know how to do it, if you are like, I don't know, how can I create questions? Well, we need to review the topics in the previous levels. Okay, so practice asking questions. And we're going to try to include that practice here in the class too. Okay, very good. Do you have any questions, everybody, about this topic? How we can fill out application applications form? Any question? No? Okay, I hope so, I hope so. Okay, we also checked another topic during this week that it was can and can't 
to talk about abilities. Let's see if you remember this topic. Look at this picture and tell me which skills do you need to work? Uh, do you need if you work in a coffee shop? Look at these options. Give me the full sentence. What do you think? Which skills do you need if you want to work in a coffee shop? Do you think that I need to know, like, give presentations? Do I need it if I work in a coffee shop? No, no, yet. Not really, right? So, which ones? Which ones do I need? Make coffee. Make coffee. Use the patch <laughs> register. Uh huh. Good. Serve customers. Serve customers. In well, some cases, people. speak English. In some cases, yes, speak English, right? Work with other people. Okay, sounds good. Now, imagine if I work in an office. Do I need to know how to make coffee? Yeah. <laughs> you think? For my break. <laughs> I make it. Oh, well, good point, good point. <laughs> Do I need to use the cash register? Yeah. What do you think? In El Salvador sometimes. Sometimes in an office, okay. What else? Do I need to serve customer if I work in an office? It depends what is the activities, the, the office. Ah, very good. It depends on what type of office we are talking about. Yeah. Do I need to give presentations? Yeah. Yes. Write reports? Yes. yes. Okay. How about use social media? Do I need it? Yes, because it is, uh, for example, the marketing office. Okay, very good. So that depends on what type of office we are talking about. So this is basically abilities. So we are going to review a little bit can and can't. So I'm going to show you some sentences and you have to complete the sentences using the correct form of can or can't okay so look at the first one ask you a question what is the best options can i i can or do i can can i okay can i ask you a question now number two volunteer for reading please What is the best option? The third, I the can hear the music, it's too loud. All right, yeah. I can't hear, the music is too loud. Remember that after can, do I need the preposition too? No. Never, right? So the best option is I can't hear, very good. Now, if I ask you a question, can you play the piano? If the answer is yes, what is the best option? Yes, I can. Ah, can I say yes, I do? No. Never. No. Yes, I can. I Good job. Number four, volunteer. What is the best option? He can, he can speak or language. Or language. Okay, so he can speak or he can speak, which one? He can speak. He can yes. speak? Yes. All right. So do I need the letter S if it is third person? No. In this case, I don't need it. Remember that when we have can, the verb doesn't need changes anymore. Very good. Job. Now, number five, he says that he, Negative. Mm -hmm. He can't help. He that says he, that he can't help me. 
That's the correct one. Very good job, very good job. Okay, number six is a question. What would be the best option? Can I have a um, ham and cheese pizza, please? Okay, can I have a ham and cheese pizza, please? All right, how about if I ask you, can I smoke here if the answer is no? No, yeah. you can't. No, you can't, great job. Okay, number eight, volunteer for answering. Uh-huh, negative. We cannot. All right, we cannot. Remember that cannot basically is the full form of the negative way. Okay, so but normally cannot, we usually use it just when we are writing, but not when we are speaking, unless you want to create like an emphasis. Okay, number nine, what is the correct one? He can use my car if he needs it. All right, can I add the letter S if it is third person? Do I need it? No. Never. No. Okay, so he can use. And the last one, the window, please. Can you can, oh, can you open the window, please? Can you open the window? That's the correct one. Excellent job, everybody. So this is the way that we can use can and can't. Just remember, if it is negative, we just add can't, okay? Is it clear, this topic, can and can't? Yes? yes? Easy, right? Now, another topic that we studied was would be and could be. So let's see if you remember that. We are going to talk about some companies and I want you to tell me what will be the benefits that the employees will get using would and could. For example, imagine that you work for an airline. What are the benefits that the employees will get? Try to give me a full sentence, but using would or could. If you work in an airline, mm -hmm, what are the benefits that you will get? For example, you would or you could, mm -hmm. what do you think? You could get a free ticket to fly to other country. Okay, very good idea. So imagine if you work for an airline, you could get free tickets. So you can travel to different countries, very nice. Can you mention another benefits that you can get if you work for an airline? Mm -hmm. If you go to a bank to ask for a loan, do you know what is loan? Exactly. Imagine, do you think that the bank will give you the loan if they can see that you work for an airline? Yes or no? Do you think that it will be easy? Uh huh. Maybe yes, right? So I think that yes. Mm -hmm. You would easily get a loan, right? Now, another one, imagine guys that you are a politician here in our country. What are some of the benefits that you will get? They have a lot of benefits. I uh -huh. could, I could um, travel to other country with the, the money of the people. <laughs> <laughs> 
okay, yeah, why not? <laughs> you could travel to another country with the population money. Okay, yeah. <laughs> interesting. What else? What are some other benefits that you can get if you are a politician? I could uh -huh. a good discussion. I could? A good schedule. Schedule. Oh, yes. So you can say, I would have a good schedule. Right? And that's totally true. <laughs> you can get a lot of money and you can work few hours. Definitely. So imagine it's very easy to use would and could. Just remember, I need would, could, and then the verb is in the base form. That means no changes. Is it clear, everyone, the way that we can use would and could? Yes? Yes, teacher. Great. Okay, now let's analyze the last topic that we studied, that it was times expressions. You know this topic already. So for, how can I use for? Uh-huh, for? Use for a period of time. Great job, period of time, excellent. How about scenes? When you start a period of time or uh, an activity. Very good. So we say specific point, right? When you started the action. Great. How about from? To say to the start and end of time. All right. When the action begins and when the action ends. Great. How about then? To introduce a new event in the series. Very series. serious, yes. So imagine in this case, you are talking about different activities. So you can use then to introduce or to connect the next activity. And the last one, until, how can I use it? Uh -huh. To mark the end of an activity. That's true. So basically, everyone, this one is when you want to say when the action finished. Okay? So that's what we are going to do. In this moment, we are going to complete the sentences using these time expressions. This activity is going to be individual. Pay attention, please. It's not an exam. Okay, but, but it's a practice and I want to everybody do it, okay? I'm going to send you the link of this practice. It's like a questionnaire, okay? So I want you to write your full names. I want to everybody do it, please. Can you see the practice? Yes? So the yes. first- Yes. Thank you. The first thing that you have to do is write your full names. Don't write just one name like Anna. No, I want the full name. Okay. So for example, Clarissa, Betsabe, um, Rivera. Okay. So write your full name. Then clicking next. So here I have different sentences. And I have here the different time expressions that we have studied. So what you have to do is read a sentence. And in this space, you have to choose what will be the best option. For example, I've been working in this office. Hmm, what do you think? Can I say since over a month? If you think that that's the correct answer, click there. But if you think, mm, no, I think that the correct answer is from, okay, click in from. I have been working in this office from over a month. 
Is that the correct answer? What do you think? No correct. It's not correct. All right. So don't say the answer right now. You have to answer all these sentences. When you finish, when you answer all of these ones, click in send and you will send your answers. And automatically you can check your score. So click here and you will see what your score is. Remember, there are only 10 sentences, so the idea is that you get 10. Is it clear what we are going to do right now? Yes? Yes. Perfect. Remember, again, it's not an exam, okay? This is just a practice to see if the topic is thoroughly understood by everyone, okay? So let's do it. I'm going to send the link to complete this practice. I'm going to send it on WhatsApp's group. And also I'm going to send it here on the chat. So open it up. And for this activity, everyone, you will get 15 minutes. So please read carefully the sentences analyze it and try to get a perfect score. Don't forget to write your full name, please. So you can start, open up the link and complete the sentences. If you have a question, if there is a word that maybe you don't understand, so tell me and I will help you, okay? Go ahead. Read carefully the sentences, please. If you have a question, just let me know. Don't forget to write your full names, full names.
If you have a question, just let me know, please. Read carefully the sentences. Read carefully, everyone. And remember, we have time. Okay, so read carefully. Remember, automatically you can see your score to see how many correct answers you had. Okay. Read carefully, read carefully. If you have a question, just let me know, please. Read carefully, read carefully. You have time. So please take your time and analyze the sentences. Okay, I can see some of you already finished. 
Very good. I can see very good scores. Some of you haven't finished, so no worries. You still have five minutes. Read carefully, please. Five more minutes, and then we're going to check the answers. Teacher, hay una casillita que no, que no se puede seleccionar, no sé por qué. Mm, which one? What is the number? Number three. I played football, that one? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let me check. Did anyone else had that problem? No? ¿Alguien más tuvo ese problema with the number three? Teacher. Oh. Maybe uh, he need to reload the, the, the web page. Okay, so um, try because I'm checking here in the website and it seems like everything is normal. Try to refresh the system, but remember that if you refreshed it, uh, maybe your answers will be erased. Okay, so, but try, no worries. You still have time, okay? Ya lo mandé, teacher. Ok, no problem. Porque estaba trabajando desde mi teléfono. Oh, ok, yeah, sometimes that happens. No worries, no worries. Remember, guys, it's not an exam. It's just a practice. It's just to see if you have understood the topic. Ok, no worries. Ok, for the ones who hasn't finished, two more minutes. Ok, and then we're going to see the answers. No me salió seleccionada, teacher. Así que perdí. No worries, no worries. It's just a practice, no worries. Okay, one more minute, and then we're going to check the answers, everyone. For the ones who already finished, how did you feel the practice? Is it easy or difficult to choose the time expressions? Uh-huh. Easy, difficult, 50-50. What do you think? 50-50. 50-50, okay. The rest of you? Mm -hmm. I think the same, 50-50. Okay, all right. Well, let's analyze the sentences, okay? I'm going to share the sentences again. And let's see what is the correct answer and why is that the correct answer? So look at the number one, it says, I've been working in this office. The first things that you have to analyze is the end. Look, we are saying over a month. So what am I saying here? Let's go back to the meaning of the time expressions. Am I giving period of time, specific point in the past? I'm saying the beginning and the end. I'm introducing a new action or I'm talking about the end of the activity. So a month, what is the best preposition here? Four. Four? Four. Four? Why? Because it's a period of time. Great, exactly. So I've been working in this office for over a month. I'm talking about a period of time, okay? That's the correct answer. Number two, pay attention here. The lesson is 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. 
So what would be the correct one? Number um, four. From. Which one? From. 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 That's correct. Look, why from? Remember, from indicates the start and the end. In this exercise, I have the beginning and I have the end. So the correct answer is the lesson is from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Okay? Number three, volunteer for reading. I play football until the club closed. Thank you. Okay, he says that is until. Do you agree, everybody? Uh -huh. Yes. Claro, teacher, esa fue la que me salió mala. Okay, but you gave me the correct answer right now, so don't worry. I will give you the extra point. So, in this case, yes, until is the correct answer. Because remember, until is when we specified when the action finished. So, I play football. ¿Cuánto dejé de jugar fútbol? Hasta que el club... Close. Exactly. So we are indicating the end of the action. Okay? Very good. Next sentence. Volunteer for reading, please. Me, teacher. Yes, go ahead. Things. Mm -hmm. Seems. Okay, read the full sentence. Things have changed. Was a girl's up. Sorry, sorry. That's no veo, pero. It's okay. <laughs> Things have changed since I was a girl. Thank you. Okay, what is the correct answer here? Since. Things. And be careful because in this sentence, I could see that many people got mistakes in this sentence. I, I'm not sure why. Remember, since is indicating when the action started. So, things have changed. Las cosas han cambiado. ¿Desde cuándo han cambiado las cosas? Desde que fue niña. Exactly. Desde que estaba chiquita. Right? So the correct answer is since. It's a specific point in the past. Next sentence, volunteer for reading, please. Me, hey, teacher. Yes. The radio has been on since seven o'clock. Thank you. Do you agree, everybody? Since seven o'clock? Yes. 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 It's a specific point. When the action started, since seven o'clock. Here, a lot of people chose from. It's, it cannot be from because remember, if you want to use from, you need to indicate the beginning and the end. And in this case, I'm indicating just the beginning. So that's why we cannot use from. We have to use things. Okay? Next one, volunteer for reading, please. Uh huh. Volunteer for reading. Me? Yes, thank you. Go ahead. Uh, first, I went to the stores and then I go to gas. Thank you. Okay, look, we are saying a series of actions. So first, blah, blah, blah. And then I'm introducing another action. Very good. Okay, look at the next one. I lived in England and then it says 
10 years. What is the correct answer here? Four. For 10. For 10 years. years. This is a period of time. Excellent. Okay, next one, volunteer for reading. Me, teacher. Uh, yes, thank you. I will be at the gym from 11 a.m. till 12.30 p.m. Very good. So the correct one is from. We are indicating the beginning and the end. Next, I'm only working ta -ta 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 -ta, three hours today. So what will be the correct answer? I'm oh. only working for three hours today. Very good. Again, it's period of time. I'm only working for three hours. Very good. And the last one, you must wait until lunch um, is ready. Ta -ta 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 -ta. You can go out. Then you can go out. Okay, so you must wait until lunch is ready. Then you can go out. Okay, so basically everyone, those were the correct answers. So we just need to read very carefully the sentences analyzed, right? Each sentence and try to be careful with the use of each time expression. Do you have any questions so far about this topic? Uh-huh. Questions, questions, this is the moment. Mm, okay, I hope you don't have questions, but I could see some people got a kind of lower score. Some of you got 10, so congratulations, but some of you got a little low score. So if you got a lower score, please try to review this topic. And don't forget the platform, everyone. Practice on the platform so you can practice and learn more. Now, let's relax a little bit. I'm going to check attendance one more time. So remember, if you listen to your name, say present. Um, Abigail Mejia. Present. Thank you. Andrea Amalia. Eh, Atilio Ernesto. Here I am. Thank you. Blanca Elizabeth. Okay. Carlos Alberto. Carlos Alberto. Celia Cristina. Present means Carlos. Okay, thank you, Carlos. Thank you, Celia. Okay, and let's see, let's see. Henry Alberto. Here I am, teacher. Thank you. Jorge Antonio. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Jorge Jonathan. All right. Jose Ezequiel. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Karen Rocío. Present. All right. Carla Sofía. Present. Thank you. Carol Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. Kenya Elizabeth. Teacher. All right. Lady Xiomara. Present. Okay. Luis Miguel. Present teacher. Okay. Nelson Orlando. Present teacher. Okay. Salvador Ernesto. Sandra Abigail. Present. Thank you. Stephanie Michel. Okay. Jancy Kelita. Present teacher. Thank you, Jose Marvin. And Edwin Enrique. Okay, very good. So everyone, we already practiced a lot of grammar today. So during this week, we haven't practiced reading. So we are going to finish today's class with a reading part. So I want volunteers for reading. At the end of the reading, we are going to have 
exam, okay? Well, it's just a survey, okay? But I'm going to ask you questions to see if you understood the reading, okay? This reading is on your manual. So if you get the manual with you, you can open up the manual so you can read it from there or you can read it here on the computer. But please, I want to everybody pay attention. OK, so let's go to the reading practice and we are going to talk about the perfect manager. Can you tell me, everyone, some characteristics that the perfect manager uh, would have? What do you think? What How characteristics? Leader? I'm sorry? Leader? How do you leader. say leader? Leader is leader, <laughs> like that. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. So a perfect manager should be a good leader? Yes. All right, very good. What else? Another characteristic? that the perfect managers uh, should have? Very responsible. Very responsible, yes. What else? Angry? Do you think that the perfect manager should be angry? No. <laughs> Not really, right? So what happy, about- Happy, happy. Very, very happy. Okay. Punctual. Punctual, um, yes, very good. And good coffee and sweet bread. <laughs> Tony, Ah, so the perfect manager should give coffee and bread. Okay, sounds like a good idea. <laughs> okay, that's what we are going to read a little bit right now. We are going to read this article uh, about five requirements of the perfect manager. Okay, so I want to everybody, please pay a lot of attention. Okay, and we are going to be reading. I will need volunteers for reading. And at the end, we are going to answer a survey. Okay, so the first one is be a people person. So what does it mean? I need a volunteer for reading the first paragraph, please. Be teacher. Thank you, go ahead. Okay. Be a people person. Nansen is a people, and we are looking for managers who like people. You should be comfortable with conflict resolution. You should know how people work and know how to motivate, motivate, mm -hmm. motivate your team. If you are better with computer than people and understand Klingon. How do you say Klingon? Like that, Klingon. Better than English. You are not a good fit for our man managerial team. Managerial team. Managerial team. Thank you, Abigail. Very good. So, Narksod. This is basically the name of the company, okay? So what is the meaning of be a people person? What does it mean according to this paragraph? Uh-huh. I think that everybody paid attention in the paragraph. So what did you understand? What does it mean to be a person? or a people person? You should be comfortable with conflict resolution. Okay, so imagine yeah. there will be problems. So as a manager, you have to be able to deal with that. What else? Motiva, motivate your team. Motivate your team, very good. Excellent. So those are the characteristics if you want to be a people person. Okay. Now I need another one. Next volunteer for reading, please. Number two. Your teacher. Thank you, Ezekiel. Go ahead. Be a good communicator. 
you should be able to communicate effectively using all methods, including visual presentation, public speaking, email, teleconferencing, and face-to-face. -face. Good communication is a two-way street. You will be required to routinely update your employees on, the, on their and the team's performance. You will communicate any feedback from upper, upper manager, management and customer and provide status information when asked. Thank you. So what is the meaning, everyone? What did you understand for this? Be a good communicator. What is the meaning of that? What is a characteristic of a good communicator? Uh -huh. Imagine he using, he uh -huh. using a different methods to communicate with the people. That's good, excellent. So imagine if I am very shy, if I don't like to talk to people, if I cannot uh, use the email. So do you think that I can be a good manager? Can I? Yes or no? Not really, right? I cannot be a good communicator if I'm shy, if I don't want to talk in public, not really. So a good manager is a good communicator. Pay a lot of attention because remember later we are going to answer some questions. Okay, if you find vocabulary that you don't understand, please tell me so I can help you to understand the vocabulary. Now, number three, volunteer for reading, please. Technical profession. Mm -hmm. The product we create and North Star are technical, com complicated. Complicated? Don't, complicated. Don't not need to be able to call in. You can spell it, C dash. C dash. C dash, but you should be able to give technical keep dance and is it the best stranger? Strangeries? Strangeries. Um, Matter for success and not having wishing happy feel or the match of the Benji. Those know what if you're as technical uh, proficiency in lanes. Thank you. So imagine if you want to be a good technician, a good manager, you need to be technically proficient. It's not necessary, as the paragraph says, like you be the very expert, but you need to know right? You need to have an idea what they are talking about. So you need to create a strategy, meet it to get successful. All right. Number four, volunteer for reading. Me, teacher. Yes, thank you. Can you pronounce the first? Encourage. Encourage teamwork. Teamwork is important at Noxor. Not only are required to uh, encourage the best practice for building teamwork. You are considered part of the team. We have no doors on Knoxford for to hide behind it. In fact, we have no traditional office space for managers. You are required to sit and work with your staff. Thank you. So everybody, what does it mean? What is the meaning of encourage teamwork? Literally open doors for oh, everyone. That's good. Uh-huh, what else? Anyone, what did you understand by encourage teamwork? Why teamwork is important?
Uh -huh, everybody participates. The idea Atelier. is that everybody talk. Uh -huh. Atelier Luis, he, he say Occident, Occident. <laughs> <laughs> Encouraging. <laughs> That's great. Yes, That's, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good example about it. Very good, very good. So we got different managers here, right? <laughs> Number five, volunteer it's a, it's for reading. A true story. Ah, <laughs> all right. I like that. I like that. Okay, number five, volunteer for reading. Me? Mm -hmm. no, no, Carla. Okay, Carla, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies first. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Uh, lead by example. The best managers lead by example at North, north of all managers are required to dress and act professionally at all times and to be available available to give guidance guidance and help, guidance and help when needed leading by example means working late late and on weekends with your employees uh, parking with your employees and using the same washroom as your employees. It is all about doing instead of pontificating and doing the right thing. Thank you. Okay, look, lead by the example. That means that the managers, they have to be like next by their employees, right? Working late if your employees work late, work on weekends if your employees work on weekends, right? Eat sweet bread and drink coffee if your employees drink coffee, right? So that is lead by the example. Now, we already read this little article about some characteristics that the perfect manager must have. Now, there are some questions that we need to analyze. And for this survey, I want to everybody participate. And we are going to do it by a, some survey. I'm going to send it a poll. Can you see the poll in this moment, everyone? Yes. Les envié como una encuesta, so todos tienen que poder verla. Can you see it? Yes. So look at the number one. It is more important to manage the system than people. According to the article, is that true or false? Ahí les va a aparecer una votación. Please, everybody, vote. What do you think? Mm -hmm. It is more important to manage okay. the system than people. Both. Okay. Mm -hmm. Vote, please. Estoy viendo four people, cuatro personas ya votaron, and they say that is false. And the rest of you, everyone, what do you think? You have... 10 seconds, 10 more seconds. I like the reference. I like the reference. I like the reference, that I like the reference that he does not speak Klingon. <laughs> no, nobody understands the reference. Ah, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> no le parece? Okay. I can see the, uh, the, the voting, ball? I don't know. Ok, no worries. Vamos a intentarlo nuevamente, ok? okay. Esa es la primera pregunta. I'm going to try it with the second one. No worries. Only okay. say votación en curso, but I don't have any option for vote. Ok, no worries. No worries. We are going to try it again. Ok, stop number one. Ok, most of you said that the correct answer is false. That is not more important. So the correct answer is D. 
definitely false. Very good job. Very good job. Okay, let's move on again. Now I'm going to send the next question. Go ahead. Um, siempre les va a aparecer la pregunta número uno, pero no se fijen en eso. To be a great, look at this question says, to be a great communicator, one should use as many tools as possible. Is that true or false? According to the uh, reading. Number two is true, teacher. It's true? Okay. Two. Okay, okay. En la votación estoy viendo health and health. Some people say true, some people say false. Oh my gosh. I don't see. Okay, no worries. Si no ven la votación, everyone, it's okay. Don't worry. You for can me, vote. For I'm me, sorry. it's false. For you, it's false. Okay. Remember, to be a great communicator, what is that? Remember. What is the meaning of to be a great communicator? You think that one should use as many tools as possible? It's only that? True or false? Okay, let's just stop with the number two. Okay, most of the people says that is true. Can you explain me why, everyone, do you think that is true and why is it false? The ones who bought it true, can you tell me why? Why do you think that is true? Uh -huh. mm. I think that the tools as like a exercise for the for the great communication. When you more um, exercise your your, your um, qualities or your uh, potential uh, forms to say something, is more easy to on um, to to say the, to, to communicate, basically. To communicate the, the problems or communicate the messages or, or, or to communicate all that you need. Correct. So if you want to be a good communicator, basically guys, if you know more, so it's very important to use as many tools as possible. So in this one, the correct answer is totally true, okay? Now let's go to the number three. I'm not sure if we are going to have time enough, but let's go to the number three. It says in order to be Technically proficient, giving one's option is enough. What do you think? Okay, some people is saying that is false. Hmm, so what do you think? Remember the paragraph number three, in order to be technically proficient, is it enough just giving one option what do you think okay some people says that is false some people says that is true okay most of the people says that is false and actually that's the correct answer very good is Balls. We are going to finish with the last one. I'm not sure if we are going to be able to answer the last one. Let's go to the number four. And it says encouraging teamwork is as important as being part of the team. What do you think? Encouraging teamwork is as important as being part of the team. Okay, some people says that is true. Okay. Ah, everybody says that is true. Very good. Okay, I can see most of you says that is true and definitely everyone, this is totally true. Encouraging the team is being part of the team. So 
you need to be side by side with your teamwork. Okay, we have one minute. Let's finish with the last one, but very, very fast. So tell me, if you are a manager, you can skip extra work and have weekends off. <laughs> what do you think? Uh -huh, managers, you can have weekends off? Yes or no? And everybody is saying false. <laughs> Definitely, that's the correct one. Excellent, everyone. Thank you so much for uh, voting and complete the survey. Reading is important, okay? So the idea is when we are reading, not only read just for reading, but to understand what we are reading, okay? Very good. Unfortunately, we don't have more time. Just remember today, one of you is going to stay. And the winner for today is ten, 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 Henry Alberto. Henry, are you there? Occidente. Occidente. <laughs> <laughs> so you see, extra hours. That's what the manager does. Happy, Very happy. Good. <laughs> I see you, Till. I see you. <laughs> okay. The rest of you, everyone, thank you so much for being in the class. Have a beautiful weekend. Don't forget to finish the platform. Okay. And see you until Monday. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you, everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye. Happy weekend. Goodbye. Happy weekend. Night. Thanks. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, only Henry stays. The rest of you, you can go. Thank you. Okay, Henry, uh, we're going to start because they are listeners. So maybe that's why they are still here, okay? Okay. Okay, this session is just in order to answer some of the questions that you may have. Maybe during the class, we don't have like enough time. <laughs> but... Um, do you have any questions about the topics that we have been studying this week or about the platform or the program? No, really no. Uh, I think so. Uh, I need a practice. I need time to practice. <laughs> I think we all of us need it. <laughs> so yes, it's, um, a, it's, a, it's a complicated uh, along, along the day. Uh, what, is, what is your schedule? My schedule, uh, I started my day uh, to seven, seven half a.m. in uh, in the inside. Oh my gosh, it's very, so it's six, I, six half inside. Oh my gosh, <laughs> so it's very early, I mean. Yes, uh, and, and I, um, transportarme. I move, I move in along Ox is Occidental Sun. I go oh to Aguachapan, I go to Sonsonate, I go to Carastusia, oh, I go okay. to Petapan. So basically you are traveling all the time. You are moving. Yes, yes, I am moving. I, I work with uh, with uh, Luis Miguel, I with Atilio. <laughs> ah, all right. So, but it's the traffic. How was the traffic today? Sorry? How was the traffic? And this in this hour in the in the morning is 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 light. Okay. In the morning is is for for the hour in 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 la que nosotros sabemos we can go to to this uh, to this distributions is is very is very light. No no have a no have a traffic in on the on the road. Oh, okay, sounds good. But but, but <laughs> <laughs> when come back, it's that's a, the problem. It's one hour to 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 when 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 I go to Sonsonate to Santa Ana. We come back Santa Ana. It's one hour. My gosh. And when when I go to Carasucia, are two hours to oh. Car from Carasucia to oh Santa Ana. Oh my gosh. You have a lot of patience. <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, because it's very difficult to be in the middle of the traffic. My gosh. Yes. Eh, como tener una, la máxima, si no fuera fácil, no fuera divertido. Yes. <laughs> well, yeah, that's the attitude. Uh, everything is difficult until it gets easier. Okay. Yes. Sounds yeah. good. And, and, the, and the after, in the afternoon, uh, we end we end to six six p.m. seven p.m. Yeah, it's it's very late. Yes, the time and the whole day is 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 a lot. It, Definitely. I have a a few moments to start to to stop to, but this is moment I use to. ¿Cómo se debería revisar eh, grupos de WhatsApp? To check WhatsApp group. Check WhatsApp group. Yeah, I know. So you have very few time, actually. So congratulations. I'm proud of you that you are doing a great effort to be here in the class. So that's great. I really, yes. uh, I, I want to encourage you to continue doing it and to continue encouraging the team. Because I can see that your your uh, coworkers are here, and if yes. they see you, they will be like, "No, he's here." So we have to be here to to keep going, keep going. I hate learn English. <laughs> I hate these hours, but trato de obligarme. That's the attitude, that's the attitude. I know that it's not easy, but as I said, imagine, I mean, si ellos lo ven a usted acá, es como que ellos van a decir, no, pues nosotros también, right? Si él puede, creo que también nosotros podemos, I mean. Es que del grupo de, somos nueve. Uh -huh. Bueno, Nelson Tejada también es parte del grupo de nosotros. Ok. Somos, somos nueve y Tony que hasta el día primero era nuestro gerente. Ahora Tony está en otra, en otra sección, en otra área. Ah, all right. Ok. Uh -huh. No, but super good job. Ok, so Henry, eh, espero que, que en algún momento el tráfico no sea tan complicated. Al menos en eso que le ayude el traffic. Um, super good job. Eh, keep going. Ok, sigamos trabajando. Yo sé que el, como el tiempo lo tiene tan reducido, la plataforma también se vuelve complicado. Pero continuemos, ¿ok? You are doing uh, such creo a que good de plataforma job. solo el, solo el, el scramble creo que es el único que me hacía falta porque no, no eso realmente no sé siempre en cada uno de los, de los módulos son los que dan problemas entonces ya no me frustro, <risa> <risa> ok, ya no me frustro, entonces, all right, ok, lo, 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 me salió mal lo dejo para el final eh, completo la, la, la semana y lo dejo para el final. Ya, ya no me gusta. Es que me falta recorrer. Yeah, all right, that's great. Yeah. Okay, I'm glad to talk to you. I don't know if you have any other comment before leaving. Sorry, I don't understand. Uh, any other comment? Un comentario más antes de irnos? No, or no. is it clear? It's, it's all it's all that's good. Uh, it's a good practice. It's a necessary. <laughs> Definitely. Okay. But so, I, Henry, I, like, I, like, I like the class. Excellent. That's the idea. I hope you can continue learning. So have a very beautiful weekend and try to practice in your free time. See you on Monday. Okay. Thank you. Me too. Okay. Goodbye. See you. Goodbye.